and welcome back to the angry buddha official hope all of y'all are sniffing and snuffing and getting lazy with something hazy and chilling and relaxing and hope y'all have been good yes i look different i shaved it off i can't uh uh yeah i uh just wanted to see how long i could get it and now i kind of know how long uh, it takes for me to kind of get it decently thick which is a lot of time so we're gonna try again but maybe go longer um i just said fuck it anyway this is me now so get used to it for a little bit not for too long um watch currently i'm watching I had my sister come over today and her kids played with my kids so cousins got to play with it together uh currently watching just a favor favorite uh hindi documentary that i really like it's called faith connections you can look it up if you're interested uh shows sadhus stuff like that oh that's cool anyway um uh, <clears throat> anyway doesn't have anything to do with it yeah so i had like a scab in my nose for like two weeks and uh it didn't go away till just like yesterday so i've been kind of snuffing but i've pretty much been like a week without snuff and it sucked just got kind of really started getting back into sniffing a whole lot of it and then i had to take like a week break it was crazy i was so upset anyways Anyways, I have a sniffer review for y'all. Sorry, I just saw a text uh, from my grandfather. He's just really old and he, uh, well, long story short, you know, he wasn't the nicest guy and uh, kind of was kicked out. Not kicked out, but like kind of kicked out and away from the family because of how mean he was. Now he regrets it, but now he's all alone. Do my best to try to still be in contact with him. Um, despite whether he deserves it or not. Um, uh, but anyways, I don't know what he's talking about. He's always saying he's gonna run off and disappear. And yes, this guy is like 80 years old. So uh, I can't take all of it seriously, but at the same time, I don't know. Anyways, that's a little bit getting personal there, but whatever. Yeah, I just saw the text message, text messages, it's just kind of like a, I don't even know what to say. But anyway, it's life for you. It doesn't always go the way you want it to. It doesn't always turn out the way, you know, you think your normal family is going to turn out. Not everybody's just family ends up being as normal as it used to be. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Um, anyway, uh, he's still texting me. Sorry, got distracted there. Anyways, uh, got something interesting here. Got some toke. Crazy Jorge. <laughs> got some toke, Crazy George. Let's get crazy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is that too loud? You're gonna probably hear that. Menthol, raspberry, and many other snuffs that I cannot detect right away. Eucalyptus, maybe something citrusy, minty, Spearminty, maybe, as well. It's a mix. It honestly smells like a toothpaste. <laughs> okay, let's see. I have taken, like, one small pinch of this. What I got was delightful. Um, I still don't know exactly what to say about this one. <clears throat> Because some of the scents in your nose 
I don't know, all of them combined. And I hear that this scent, basically this snuff is a mix of all kinds of different snuffs. So what I get from it is kind of just spices and weird scents because they're all together. My scent and my mind, my, my nose and mind is like on, um, I don't know, it's kind of just like everywhere. Pardon me. Um, I get, I get raspberry, a lot of raspberry. This mix has definitely had a lot of uh, raspberry uh, thrown into it. In my batch of this crazy George, and I do dig it. But uh, I guess because the fact that we know that the snuff is filled with different snuffs, it's kind of like you know what to expect. It's going to be different every time you get it, um, or similar. I do smell, a, it's got a good base. It's just a normal good to base tobacco. There's nothing wrong with it. I feel like if you didn't know what to choose and you didn't, uh, couldn't choose um, a snuff based off of like scent or plane or whatever, you could reach in and have this and just be like, well, here we go. This is a fun snuff. Um, sorry if I don't seem as enthusiastic about it. It's just because usually my experience here on my snuff channel is just kind of going through and trying to find out maybe what's in there or what since are in there combined making another snuff or making another scent for example this is what's making it a toffee scent when it might not really even be like toffee scented stuff it's something that kind of creates a toffee scent anyways um uh but that's just, it's just an opinion or preference or like what my nostrils smell um you know it's like Honestly, getting a little cheese and bacon there. That's kind of weird. But it's just because it's, it's such a mix. I really am just kind of getting a raspberry menthol here. That's like the main thing. Now, when I dabble into this later, I'm sure I'll get something else. Like, I feel like I can even kind of smell like a chocolatey kind of tobacco in there. Along with that mint. And it's, since it's such a random smell, I don't know like really how to... I feel a little conflicted here. Um, so fail on this one, not them making this snuff, fail on me for this review because I don't really have too much to give for this one except for the fact that it's cool, it's different, it's cool that it's such a mystery, but you have to know that you'll never know. I mean, you'll know that you smell something, but there's so many in there, it's not just that, it's everything together. Now, like I said, this is a very easy snuff to take. I think it's a beginner snuff. Totally a beginner could use it, but I don't think you would want to because you just have this Mystery snuff now. It's it's fine. It's the mystery airhead Candy, you know, you don't know what it is And they're not gonna tell you so It's fun. It's cool, but this is my crazy George review. Will I buy it again? Absolutely not just because I have no desire I, st I strictly got this for fun, but also at the same time, not really thinking about it, that like, I'm probably not going to enjoy this snuff. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not my style. I love the name. Wish it was a little bit crazier <laughs> or something. I don't know, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's a nice, easy, you know, medium fine, grind tobacco. And it's just, uh, I don't know, super easy to take. I just, I mainly get a lot of raspberry, which raspberry is a lovely smell, but knowing that this has other scents in it and I'm not getting just dominantly raspberries, it's kind of just like, meh. But fine, still support the toke, no matter what. That was my Crazy George review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'll bring something better to the table next time. <laughs> I'm about to start grilling some chicken. Um, just... Drink it on a yingling, a yingling, dingling, dingling, yingling. That's right, dingling. Traditional lager dingling. I mean, yingling, dingling. I'm retired. Anyways, good beer. But um, uh, I'll check it out later. I'm going to start grilling. Um, 
and some high dry toast nearby that I'm really about to get started on now that I can snuff. I haven't snuffed all day. Visiting with my sister, kind of just been <laughs> smoking some herbs. And that's really it. And talking. I've been drinking a little Johnny Walker Black. Uh, mixed with some Red Bull. <laughs> um, uh, now I'm about to get smoky. Yeah, I'll stay. Stay good. Peace.